What's up everybody? I'm Taylor Soper with GeekWire. We're here in sunny Seattle, Washington at CenturyLink Field just a couple hours before the Seahawks take on the Kansas City Chiefs for their third preseason game. We're, go we're about to go get a sneak peek of the new control room. It's where the Seahawks game day production staff controls what fans see up there on the big screen and what they hear throughout the stadium as the game moves along. The control room just got a big new upgrade with a bunch of new technology, new gadgets. It's super geeky and uh, we're really excited to go check it out so let's get up there a little hawk vision overview for you so we have our logging station here so this is our meteor asset management they're tagging and meta tagging the files for for pulling up for story reasons the next set of set of folks here is our evs our, our replay so they're they're prepping and staging the replays that'll be used uh, in the game presentation beside them is our main component which is our switcher so he has a uh, game day director there and his associate director so that's our switcher um, on the back row, we have our Chiron graphics operators, a couple miscellaneous stations, and then we have our red zone operator here for uh, staging of the external feeds that are coming in so that we can take highlights from around the league and put them, onto the, put them into the game presentation. On the front row, we have uh, ANC, who does our LED elements, manages our, uh, the, the content that goes on our ring and our hustle boards, and then we have a uh, quality control station for our digital signage as well on that front row. And then down below we have the game day director, um, the game day announcer, and our audio booth as well. And our audio control room is down, down on the front row as well with a couple spiders. Camera shading, so this uh, synchronizes all the, all the color quality across all the cameras, get it consistent for, for presentation. So this, this station here is for quality control. Is used mainly by um, is an extra spot and also for our corporate partnerships to monitor the ads that are played during the course of a game, ensure that we meet our obligations to our partners. So, yeah. So there you have it. That's what goes on and what makes the big screen there and all the audio and the sounds that you hear during the game work. It's a delicate balance of using technology, but also remembering that fans are here to actually watch the game and the technology is there to enhance the experience. So there you have it. I'm Taylor Soper with GeekWire. We'll see you at the next game.